Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. Today we are going to be talking about Longmorn, the double cask mature edition. This whiskey got recommended by Ian um, to, to review it. There's a whole series that is a 20, uh, the 18, the 23 and the 25. Uh, and it's part of something that is uh, done by Pena Ricard that is called the Secret Series, the Space Side Series, in which they are using some of their most obscure distilleries and doing something special with them. In this particular case, is uh, the long morn is double maturation. Uh, it's a double cast mature in American oaks, uh, only exclusively American oak in hog sheds, and uh, just a normal American barrel. Just for a little bit of uh, reference there, a hog shed is around 300 liters, American barrels, the standard barrels are about 200 uh, liters. So the hogshead, it's a little bit bigger, so that means that it's uh, less surface area, which uh, brings lighter notes to the whiskey. <clears throat> a little bit of history on Longmore. Longmore was established in 1894, in, on Christmas, in December. Uh, the, the gentleman that established that distillery actually had a lot of experience before. Uh, his name is John Duff, and before that he worked in, in, in Glenronic. Now, the whiskey in itself was so popular at the time that uh, two or three years later they opened Ben Ryak next to it. Uh, but unfortunately, around 1989, where the, boom, uh, the whiskey boom and the economy went basically pear-shaped, uh, they had to sell all the assets and got bought by the grants. Now, then is when Longmore became really popular in blended whiskies. Not until like early 2000s, Longmore was specifically used for blends, in particular the Grants and also the Shivers Reels. <coughs> now, the other interesting fact about Longmore as well is that they have been always used American oak. They, there's no, I don't know of a, of, of a version of these ones that they actually put sherry on it. Now, they create a beautiful whiskey, and most of the whiskey, as I said before, goes, goes into blend. Uh, but the single bottles is really popular between uh, independent distilleries, uh, sorry, independent bottle links. Um, so, but the, and the core range of Longmore is actually just a 16 and the 23. Um, it's really interesting because the double maturation and these editions I actually never heard of uh, and the only way we could get it was directly from uh, from the UK and I'll show you the seal. Now the whiskey is non-chill filtered uh, and it's a, uh, bottled at 48% ABV which is quite quite strong um, and yeah it's actually really really interesting. The other, the other fact about Longmore as well is uh, the water source. Uh, they have an exclusive water source that comes from underground. Nobody can access it. Uh, it's obviously goes through the wells. It's a, a, an underground lake that goes through Speyside. So, <coughs> there it goes. It's quite dark for a for American oak, especially being hogshead, um, comparing to other other American oak uh, second fill barrels or stuff that we drunk in the past. But yeah, Longmore is a particularly good and fruity whiskey. That's why it's so popular in blends. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's, the smell is, the, the nose is delicious. Yeah, wow, that's, um, that's actually really, really interesting. Uh, it has a lot of, lot of pear, a lot of apricots, peach. Uh, it's actually really, really, really uh, fruity. Definitely, definitely very, very smashable. Especially at 48%, it doesn't really have that uh, super strength on the back. Um, so yeah, so that's the Longmore 18. Thank you very much for listening and we'll see you next time. Slanjaba.